Today's topic is going to be a really interesting topic. This is something which all of us would have experienced losing a job. So all of us in our lifetime would have definitely gone through this phase of life. So losing a job could be a challenging and a stressful experience. However, staying calm and uh, strategically planning for your finances will give you a smoother transition due to this. So in this video, we'll see the strategies how you can effectively mitigate your job loss. Hey everyone, my name is Anand and in this channel, I'm posting up technical contents as well as financial contents on this. Let's get started with the video right away. So the first thing that you need to consider after your job loss is like cutting out your uh, unwanted expenses. So slashing up all those unnecessary expenses is the very first thing. So with a significant reduction in your income as you have lost your job. So it's very crucial to cut off your non-essential spending. So review your current savings account and how the emergency funds that you hold. Maybe you'll get some severance package from your employer. Try to accumulate all of these funds and try to make up a calculation and see how much your existing resources will take you. So uh, focus on reducing the unwanted expenses, all those discretionary expenses like uh, going to restaurants or movies or your Netflix and uh, Amazon Prime subscriptions. So cancel up all of these uh, membership and try to find out alternative routes. So for example, you can try avoiding uh, late night movies or uh, fine dining restaurants and stuff. So try stopping up these. So that is the first thing that you have to do. The very important thing is like you need to go with a monthly budget. So this, that's the second point to be discussed. So create a monthly budget. So create up a detailed budget prioritizing your uh, insurance premiums because you are at a job loss now. That shouldn't stop your uh, premium payments of your EMIs or your credit card payments or your insurance plans and stuff. So plan your budget accordingly. So assess your current financial state situation. Plan for a six months of emergency fund as you would have got it now. So if the funds are tight, you can like try stopping up your mutual fund payments or things which you can temporarily keep on hold. You can discuss with your bank and try increasing up your loan payments as well. You can try increasing the uh, tenure or reducing up your premium payments or like planning up with your insurance agents as well. The third important thing is like uh, cutting out again on unnecessary expenses like the first thing which we saw. Here we are going to remove unwanted uh, expenses like uh, reducing up on your uh, transportation method. So if you're trying to uh, go with your car or in your uh, other things, you can try go for a, a pooled car kind of a situation. You can try using your public transport kind of things. Limit your groceries, stop using your uh, fancy vegetables. So try go with your uh, normal day to day living kind of things. Then the most important thing is like you need to always keep a vigil on your uh, investments because uh, that has to be like going streamlined with your future. Because as you are on a temporary job loss, this should not stop your uh, future plans. So this current financial situation is temporary. So that will definitely pass by. So that shouldn't stop any way your long term goals. So make your gradual adjustment towards it so that you don't make any hasty decisions. And uh, you try to increase up all those investments or plannings that you've got your future, your retirements or your corpus that you plan for your children's education or you're planning to construct a house. That shouldn't be stopped because of this current scenario. So try to plan up your finances accordingly and try to uh, mitigate this current situation. Then uh, this important thing that is uh, you need to watch out is like exploring up additional uh, financial assistance options. If you are having a family friend or if you have a reliable source or someone, you can try uh, consider buying, borrowing from them. I wouldn't advise you to borrow from your relatives or friends, but it's a good thing to borrow from people where you get interest uh, at very lower rates. So that is something which you can like definitely avail. You can also go for your loan against your mutual funds or against your fixed deposits. This gives you a uh, very cheaper interest rates and uh, always uh, be watchful or on your uh, terms and conditions on these kind of loans and uh, stop paying up all those uh, um, interest rates like high interest debt funds like you have like any uh, interest rate anything more than 8% try to reduce them first because uh, that will automatically eat up a lot of uh, your savings or your money and try to avoid penalties that is the very important thing you shouldn't uh, break up any payments or any other uh, thing that you currently hold. If you try to make up a late pay payment, automatically penalties gets added up. So don't go with that route. Then uh, if you have any corpus or anything in your mutual funds, you can go with a SWP plan temporarily. So if you have a debt or a equity fund, you can go into a, an SWP mode where you will get a steady income because you need a day to day running and you need to take care of your family. You need to feed them. 
So for that you need money. So that you can go with your uh, SWP. That's a very uh, wise thing to do. You can go with a uh, debt fund SWP or with equi equity SWP. Or in fact, you can go with a hybrid equity as well. I've posted another video on this exclusive uh, about a hybrid aggressive fund SWP. So that gives you a proper balance of your market as well as uh, growing up your corpus. I'll leave a link to that. You would be able to see that popping up somewhere here on the screen. You can just uh, check it out as well. Then uh, the very important thing you have to do is like now that you're without a job, you've got a lot of free time with you. Try upskilling your knowledge, like go for a job search. That's a very important thing that you need to do. But you need upskilling as well because market will always retain you if you are uh, leveling up your uh, skills. So update your resume, update your LinkedIn profile, add up your recent accomplishment and stuff in uh, LinkedIn profile for uh, easy networking. But at the same time, start learning up new technologies or new features. And uh, at the time you are like doing up these kind of uh, jobs, try applying for part time jobs or for a freelance kind of works where you'll be able to get some money to keep the ball rolling. Try definitely doing that. But more than that is your upskilling. So as you are like free in this phase of life, you can definitely use this period to learn new skills get new certifications, be more competitive in the market. So your CV will always stand out in these uh, job hunt when you got that additional skill in your profile. Try definitely adding up that. That is definitely going to add up more weightage to your resume. Then try to network with people. That is the most important thing that you need to do. As you're without a job, don't try to stay away from the crowd or stay aloof from your friends. Reach out to your former colleagues, your industry contacts, your business contacts, whoever you know. Just try with them and try uh, interacting with them for new opportunities because that's a very important thing that you need to do. And uh, staying away from people, it's not going to take you anywhere. So try to be with a mob, with a group. The most important thing of all is like your mental well-being. So. As you are in a job loss, that will take, definitely take a big toll on your health and emotional and your mental well-being. So prioritize on your health first. Your job loss can't take up your health. So as they say, like uh, health is the first wealth. So you will get a job in a course of time. But uh, just always remember that uh, laying off from the job is not your... Uh, it's not in your hand. So it could be anything related to your company. So at this phase of time, you definitely have to take care of your health as well. So stay positive, maintain a proper routine, like whatever you do, always do your uh, physical fitness, whatever you do, try always focusing on that. Don't quit that. That is the very vital thing in your life. End of the day, when you go, even if you cross your 60s and 70s, health is all that matter. So when you just turn back and see all the days that you have passed through, you will see that it's a futile search between your money and health and always health wins. And you will never be able to uh, seek the additional amount of money that you will be able to have a very uh, rosy future. And uh, whatever you have in hand, try to be sufficient with that and always focus on your health. And this temporary job loss is not definitely going to uh, um, eat away your health. So emotional health and well-being is like very important. So in this transition phase, you definitely need to take care of that. Let that not get uh, a toll in this job hunt phase. So that is a very vital thing to do. In fact, that's the very first thing that you have to do. Take care of your health first and then take up everything. So if you follow up all of these paths, you'll be able to mitigate this current phase scenario of your life without a job. If you are looking up for another job, try applying all of these strategies and look out for a job. And um, for all those who are looking out for a job, try with your LinkedIn networking as well. That plays a very huge role. And always try upskilling your technical knowledge. That's going to be like added up advantage to you. And if you like this video, do share it with your friends who's like on a temporary job loss or like who's been laid off from the company. And uh, do smack the like button as well so that this video gets transferred to all those people who are out in the market. We'll catch up in the next one. Until then, thanks for staying back. Thank you.